guys, this is a rare occasion. It's only ever happened one other time on the channel, but in this black case, I have a knife that I personally think for the purpose design and the way it was designed is perfect. I, I can't find anything personally that I don't like about it. So we're going to turn it around and we're going to look at the second perfect knife that has ever showed up in all the years I've had this channel. Guys, inside this case is a knife that I have come to think of as perfect. It's the Pinkerton Knives Inversion. And the reason I say it's perfect is because it's just a perfect self-defense tool. Now, this is not the configuration that I prefer. I absolutely like it like this. I personally think that this is how this knife was meant to be carried. And we'll talk about those differences, but this thing is a folding picol. This thing is amazing. Uh, it is the first folding picol I've gotten to see. Let's get this box out of the way. So we can focus on this amazing knife. Now, I've had picols before. I've never had a folding picol. I know that there are other ones out there. I personally think this is probably like a perfect storm of things going on. So we'll talk about the knife. I'll tell you about carrying it and stuff like that. But first, let's talk about the changes in the configuration. So the cool thing about this knife, before we even get into any specs or anything like that, is you've got multiple positions for your pocket clip. If you don't like the pocket clip all the way against the back, it's got another set of holes. So you can actually lower it all the way down to here or all the way up it comes with a deep carry bent wire clip. Now, I carried it with this a little bit, did not care for it as much as I like the original. It also comes with a thumb disc instead of this Emerson Wave style feature. Uh, you can still deploy with this, but you have a thumb disc that's a very good thumb disc. I have to tell you, if you like to thumb, if you like this thumb plate, thumb disc style deployment, awesome. Great. I love it on Bob Trizzolo's knife, Trizzolo's knives, and I love it on this, but I prefer this because of the rapid deployment. You can also remove this ring, as you saw. So this is basically a knife that is going to appeal to so many people. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and we'll look at some specs. So I got to tell you, there's not a lot of specs available. So we're going to have to do just some mat measuring. But so you're looking at a, an S35 VN. Sorry, I've got a dirty blade here. An S35 VN blade that's done in a mod modified Warren Cliff with a recurve on it. And now it's a light recurve, which is going to make sharpening for you guys easy. It is a relatively good behind the edge thickness. You're looking at something that is piercy yet very slicey still. Nice piercing tip. Um, it is a frame lock running on bearings and you've got multiple deployment methods. So you've got a flipper tab here on the back side. Like I said, you've got this, which is my preferred Emerson wave style feature that still will allow you to roll it out by thumb. You've also got the Emerson Wave feature itself, which works incredibly well. It just, I'm trying to do it here for you, just snaps open coming out of pocket. When you have the ring on it, really comfortable in hand. Titanium, hang on a second, I fix this tripod now. Sorry guys, I hit one of the adjustment locks and the tripod was trying to collapse. I was holding it with my other hand. So uh, what I was saying was, uh, these orange peeled titanium handles, which I love, that have held up re really well. You have got uh, this clip right here that is the milled clip. And like I said, you have this wire clip. I prefer this clip. With this knife, it sits fairly low in your pocket anyway. When I put this on it with my preferred uh, configuration, it lets the ring down too far. I like the fact that I can just hit that ring and pop it right out of my pocket. It catches right on the lip of your pocket, snaps open. The handles on this, really, really comfortable. Let's get some sizes on it, and they're going to be size estimates. So with the ring on it, you're looking at about seven, seven and three quarters. From the heel, if you don't have the ring on, you're looking at seven and a quarter. So this does add a little additional length. Well, we'll get a couple knives out for size comparison, and I'll try and find you a weight, uh, even if I have to weigh it. But your first knife for size comparison, and it's the Spyderco PM2, a knife that most of you guys are going to know. It gives you a good size reference. You can see they are just about the same in length. Um, this is another great knife for self-defense, to be honest. So let's move on. Your next knife is the Benchmade 940, one of the most well-known knives in the knife industry. And your final knife for size comparison, as always, is my Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21. It is one of the best 
known EDC knives in the world. Awesome, awesome knife. Well, let's go ahead and get this out of the way and start talking about this thing. <laughs> With all the boring stuff out of the way, let's talk about this knife. So this thing is absolutely one of the most well thought out knives for self-defense that I've had on the channel hands down. Now, there's a lot of people that, that are going to complain about the fact I even mentioned carrying a knife for self-defense. But the fact is, there are a lot of folks that can't carry a firearm because of legalities and things like that where they're at, but they can carry a pocket knife. And this is one of the better ones. The Picol design is a great self-defense knife because it's so intuitive. Uh, the way it's put together, it's basically like adding it's like adding a claw to your hand and you don't have to do anything special. It comes out of its respective sheath or pocket. And if it's a Emerson wave feature like this, it absolutely deploys pretty much automatically and just falls into a grip where you can just hammer fist and claw. So it just adds that in. Picals are probably some of the best thought out self-defense knives ever designed. Uh, this one is done, like I said, S35BN. And the thing is, I did EDC this a little bit. I did do some cutting with this to the point that I did have to resharpen it. Uh, this cuts really well. And if, if the way it cuts through cardboard and the other stuff that I put it up against is any indication of how it would do against a person, I'm going to tell you right now, it would do amazing. Uh, the ring on it is perfectly placed so that when you get your finger in and it's big enough for my finger, which is another thing, you can absolutely just yank it out of your pocket and it just falls into that natural grip. And you've got this plate here where you put your thumb and it just turns it into a devastating tool. The other thing too, is if you don't want to use it that way, I wanted to mention this. I didn't mention it in the last video. You can pull this out of your pocket. There are, you, everybody knows if you've got a wave feature knife, you can pull it out of pocket without deployment. And you can use this as an impact weapon if you need to. And then you can always, I found this, then deploy it like this with your pinky if you practice. And that's one of the big things, practice. So if you're using it as an impact tool, let's go back to that. You're using it as an impact tool. You can then come around and you can deploy that knife if you need to. I personally would just deploy it. I don't, I would much rather go heavy than have to re- allocate resources and time. Um, so this absolutely is an incredible knife. Now, I carried this for a long time and I gotta tell you, it's a very, very comforting thing to have something after you've practiced with it and things like that, that you know you can absolutely use properly. And like I said, I've said it so many times, if you're gonna carry something for self-defense, make sure you've had the training or trained yourself. And I did, I practiced with this a lot. It's absolutely incredible. Now, there's gonna be a couple things that I mention on the other side of this that I'm not a big fan of, but as far as being able to throw something in your pocket, self-defense, it's incredible. The amount of contouring on these handles for comfort is incredible. They are super comfortable in hand. Once you get this deployed, so you've got it in your hand like this, once you've got it deployed, it is super secure. Like it's going nowhere. It locks in. You've got that. It's, it, but it's not at all uncomfortable, which like in a self-defense situation, do you care if you're comfortable? Probably not, but it absolutely is. And I can't tell you how impressed I am with this. The lockup on this is great. There's no blade play, nothing. I've had this apart several times. I have had zero issues with, with, you know, taking it apart, putting it back together. It's very, very simple. And like I said, I love the idea of how how much this is ta you can tailor this to your own carry configuration wants and needs. You take the ring off. It's it's ambidextrous, two different types of pocket clips, two different types of discs and plate deployment on this. And then you can adjust the depth of carry. Absolutely a brilliant brilliant knife. So with any knife, there's always some negative stuff. And it, on this one, it's it's mainly just some stuff that is not an issue with me. I absolutely find nothing wrong with this knife. Um, but it's just stuff I want to point out to you guys before you jump into a purchase. So now let's flip this around and talk about the bad stuff after you guys hear a quick ad.
Because you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring a channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. Flip side of the story, flip side of the knife. Haven't said that for a while. Um, this is a definite limited use purpose knife. Some people argue uh, that if you take this off and, and then, you know, carry it and you just use it like this, even without the ring on it, this is not a knife that I really would use just because of the weirdness of that angle, even with the ring off of it. I find that it, it kind of, it, it tries to be, it, that makes it trying to be more than it is and more than it should be. Uh, the next thing, the overall cost of this knife is going to be a little bit more than a lot of a lot of people want to pay really to tell you the truth it's 290 dollars. that's not an expensive knife but it's also not cheap especially when you consider that it's just going to be something that you're only going to carry for a specific purpose in my opinion uh next thing limited availability. If you want one of these, there's only 200 of these. Now, I don't have an affiliate leak with Dirk. I don't have, he's not got these at any other vendor's sites. So you have to go to his website. There will be a link to his website down below, but it, you can't, you can't just pick one up. It's not like there's going to be a, there's 200 of these only, 200 of these only, and they're only in a couple configurations. So uh, as far as like color and things like that, I think there's one that's PVD coated. And then there's this one, which I absolutely would prefer. And then the last thing, this is a knife that a lot of people are going to look at and find to be aggressive. Like if, you, if you're messing around and you deploy this in public, some people are going to find this to be troublesome. You may get some calls. You may get somebody calling the cops on you if you're like showing this off to your friends, you pull it out of your pocket, you know, you get in that ring and you deploy that out and it just snaps open and you've got, you're like, wow, look at that. It could be problematic. And then legalities, make sure you're allowed to carry things like this. But the big one is don't up and buy this and think Mike told me I could carry it for self-defense. You need to practice with this life, knife. I said for in all the videos I've ever talked about self-defense, I have taken martial arts. I know how to defend myself. I know the way I would want to train and how to practice, practice deployment, practice, you know, deployment out of the pocket and, and how I would actively use it and the different scenarios. Um, so make sure that you're not just carrying this because I told you to, but this is a cool addition to any collection. So go check out Dirk's Knives. He's got other stuff on his website. Dirk's a great dude. He was kind enough to send this along um, for review. I absolutely love it. This is mine. He sent it to me. Um, and I wanted to mention one last thing I forgot in the goods. This, these are serialized. This is number 75 of 200. So at any rate, guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. With all that being said, and I know it's going to be a little bit longer video, I found nothing negative with this knife. I found nothing wrong with it. This Pinkerton inversion is possibly for a purpose-built self-defense tool. Perfect. I can find zero flaws with this. Uh, I know there's going to be people that have said, well, you had a whole big, long negative section. I was like, and I'm going to tell you, none of those things were things that I find negative. I don't find them negative because I know what this knife was designed for. I know how I'm going to carry it. And for me, absolutely perfect. Dirk nailed this one. It has only ever happened once. It was the deadlock by Hawk Knives. Absolutely perfect. There are very few knives out there that get that moniker. Sorry to keep rabbling on. You guys know there was an ad in here. So that means I've got sponsors. Go check out those links. Two of them have got discounts built into them. It's Coffee Brand Coffee Temper Trail. 10% off when you purchase items there. Please support the channel by doing that. If you drink coffee, please try their coffee. It's really good. And support Justin over at Tempered Trails. He's doing really cool stuff. Um, I have got a discount code, speaking of discounts. I've got a coupon code that saves you 40% at Beyond EDC, where you can find a lot of Dirk's knives, 10% at Farron Forge Knife Works, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, and 10% at Katsu Knives Now. Affiliate links down below. Most of the major vendors, if you're going to buy knives, please use those. And I have an Amazon store. 
You can take that link, put it in your browser for all your Amazon shopping. I really appreciate it. Jared has started using mine all the time and I'm using his. So you can flip between my channel's store and his. And I have got a public Discord down below. So join the community and a membership where I, give, I do giveaways. I have premium tier sharpening tutorial series. There's exclusive content and a private Discord. Guys, that's it on this one. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.